Hello, Angela Lambropoulos, Director of Lambros Realty. And today I just want to do a quick talk um, as part of the landlord tips here on when you can increase your rent, right? So just getting an understanding of how to go about it and make making sure you get it uh, right from the start. So as a landlord, sorry, as a landlord, if you're if you're in a tenancy agreement a fix under a fixed term of less than two years that set out a rent increase, you do not have to give written notice uh, before the increase can take effect. So the key here is making sure that it's uh, obviously documented as part of your tenancy agreement if you're under a uh, you know a two year fixed term. Okay, now. If it enters a periodic agreement, meaning after your time has elapsed under your uh, your fixed term lease, rent can only be increased once within that 12 month period. And you have to give a minimum 60 day written notice to the tenant, okay? So just to give you a, a bit of a heads up. So I guess the, the key here is making sure you're getting it right. Um, you know, if you are in that sort of periodic agreement, you wanna make sure that, you know, being a minimum of 60 days, you want your your managing agent to obviously make sure they get in touch with you, you know, um, anywhere sort of two weeks to, to a month before that 60 days to advise, you know, where the market's sitting. Um, so then you can obviously go back to the tenant and discuss that rental increase, right? So the key is timing and, you know, contractually, if you enter a fixed term, make sure you do have it documented that there will be a rent increase. Um, otherwise, you sort of uh, will put yourself in a bit of a hole there um, by not stating it in the agreement. So I hope that helps. If you want any further clarity around this, um, give me a call. The details are just up in the corner there. And thank you for watching. And I will be back next week with another landlord tip.